Welcome to Better Golf. My name's Paul Dyer. And I'm Ian Holloway. And Ian, I've got a question for you. What can tour pros do in the wedge game much better than the amateur golfer? What's the big difference? Variability. I mean, they are able to vary the shot that they play and the situation, how they play the situation with different clubs all the time. Because obviously when, especially off on the European tour, you see that all the time. Uh, because they're playing on different grasses in different countries. And I think one of the things that people can learn is just to just to change the club and change the way they play it through how they practice as well. And it makes practice really, really fun as well. OK, so we've got a couple of good ideas how you can practice that. And it's interesting because you, you ask amateur golfers, you know, what's the difference between a tour pro and me and chipping? They come up with all sorts of things like, you know, striking the ball out of the middle yeah. and all the rest of it. And you could probably not see the difference between a pretty decent amateur golfer and a tour pro mm -hmm. in terms of the quality or the swing or anything like mm -hmm. that. It's actually this, this whole variability thing. So what we've got, four different clubs. Okay, nice challenge for me. Yeah, and what I want you to do, Ian, is one of the drills we'd use would be to chip to one hole. So we're going to take the hole way over there on the left. Okay. And we're going to get you to chip with all these different clubs. So let's start with the pitching wedge. I've got, okay. by the way, I've got sort of pitching wedge, eight iron, six iron, and four iron using our Callaway Big Berthas, of course. Extra distance, don't need it in chipping, but we'll see how we go here. So you'll, you'll be looking for a landing spot, trying to figure out yeah, where I mean, you've got to land with this club. The first thing that I've got to do is understand, right, how much loft have I got on the club, and how does that influence how much, how much flight I have and how much roll I have. Okay. Um, so basically, basically, when I'm standing over it, I'm looking at the loft and then figuring out where am I going to land it, and then I'll make a couple of practice swings to feel the connection or to feel that, that distance that I want to flight the ball here. Okay, so that landed, you know, a good, a good 10 feet into the green at least. So we're going to swap pitch and go with, go with an eight iron. And we'll see what, so what are you going to, what's going to really change here? Your landing point, I guess, is going well, I mean, to come closer. Yeah, obviously, I mean, I've got less loft in my hand. It won't fly as high and won't stop as quick. I okay. mean, I could change the loft, but with this exercise, we're just trying to keep to that basic, that basic uh, swing and then just change the landing area. Okay, let's so I'm going to try and keep and everything at the same and land it just on the green this time, I think. Okay, very different flight. Pretty much exactly the same result though. Okay, perfect. So let's go with a six iron. Now, now we've hardly any loft at all. So now it becomes a little tougher, obviously here in Spain at La Manga, especially when the weather's so good, the greens get really fast. So this shot's really testing my ability to, to flight the ball and to create that, that feel because normally I wouldn't use this shot for such a short distance when the greens are so fast there. Which is also one of the great things about doing this drill at home is that you automatically realise now, you know, maybe eight was the right club, but six is definitely not the right club. I can almost feel it in my bones because I'm really having to work hard to hit this one. So Ian's landed it right on the front of the green, exactly on the front edge. Another great shot, by the way. Okay, so now we're going to really test you. We've got a four iron. Hardly any loft at all on a, on a four iron. And obviously, the, the, the fact that there's no loft on the club means that you've, you've got to work hard to, to strike it properly. So check out our videos on ball position and, and hitting the ball in the right place. So this one's actually hardly flown at all. It was more even a putt. Another great shot. So all those balls are all in the same place over there, yeah. yet there was four yeah. completely different flights. Yeah. And, and just think, by practicing yeah. it... I think, yeah, just by practicing it, you'll become aware of which club from which situation works the best. And I think sometimes you'll be really surprised which one works best for you. Now, we're, we're big Seve fans, of course, yep. uh, being Europeans, and um, he was the short game master over, yep. over the side of the pond. And what, you know, we've, we've all seen these online videos of Seve mm -hmm. spinning it back with a three iron and so forth. Yep. So you can obviously go the other way, yep. and we can say, right, well, uh, how many different shots can you hit with a four iron? Yep. 
uh, what, what do you need to do to, you know, so you can hit different shots with the same club? Yeah, so Seve was a master at this. Obviously, he learned to play with one club, a three iron. So when he would have a situation for a high lob and you've only got a three iron, you need to figure out how to put some loft on it. When you're going to run it, you need to then play it like that when you need to put it. So he learned the whole game with one club, which has its benefits. And obviously now with different clubs, we don't learn that way. And what we know from differential learning, um, we can't adapt to the situation as well when we practice with so many different clubs, just that bog standard shot. So if I was going to play to the first flag now, I need to have it landing a little bit softer. So I'm going to I'm going to try here and just do a few things in my setup and, and the swing. Yeah, so you've obviously put a bit of loft on. Yeah, I've tried to you open know, the face a little, a little bit. bit. Back. Um, got the ball a little bit forward, and I know that this is going to be a tricky shot. But if I just get the tempo a little bit softer here, then hopefully. Okay, nice shot. Uh, I can. I can no, get it's the just not your day, is it? <laughs> I can get the ball just popping up a little softer and then running out to the hole. And obviously if you've got, if the ball is set up a little bit and you need to go over something, it's really going to test your skills as a golfer um, to really produce the shot that's needed. Okay, perfect. So summary for you guys is get a, a whole bunch of clubs, whether it's a four, six, eight wedge or any other clubs, and try hitting all those clubs to the same hole and then get a longer iron. Try and be savvy, see what you can do with a three iron if you've still got one these days, or a four iron like we just did, and try and hit some... Yeah slightly softer ones you're not going to maybe be lobbing it but try and do all those yeah, things and really really practice like a child in many respects like like Seve did and be be really imaginative you don't you never know what shot you might need at any circumstances there so practice every situation even if it's like oh, okay i would never do this go ahead and try it because yeah. unless you've tried it you'd never know what's going to happen well that's how we got as awesome as we are today is by messing around on the chipping green all day exactly. isn't it i mean that's you know we didn't we didn't have Short game instruction, we didn't have anyone telling no. us about ball position and all that good stuff. Yeah. You just sort of figured it out. Yeah. And that's okay. right. So go ahead, try that stuff. Let us know how it goes. You know where to go, Facebook, Twitter and co. And we'll see you in a video here sometime soon.